Welcome. Now, in this module, we're going to take a look at Qualys policy libraries, and this is under policy compliance. And let's take a look at the detailed uh, features for the libraries for creating scanning policies. And there are four or five different uh, menu items here or different options. For example, there are uh, scanning policies or uh, scanning um, uh, frameworks for CIS for Qualys, um, if there is a particular mandate from the government for DISA, which is a Department of Defense standard. And then there are some, uh, some templates available from different vendors as well. So let's take a look at some of these and, and in order to look at the detailed features of Qualys policy compliance. Now, when we go to the policy compliance menu and we click on the policies menu item, which is showing in the top bar, this is the screen that you will see, and you have two main options to select, either set up policies or explore the controls library. Now, I would like to remind the viewers that what we're trying to do here is uh, we are, we're looking at the features of Qualys for security hardening purposes. So this is being done with the understanding that if you are hardening a particular server, for example, Windows Server 2012 R2, and you have already hardened it or are about to harden your Windows Server 2012 R2 server, we should be able to go to policy compliance and select the particular control set from Qualys for Windows Server 2012 R2 and use that to check the control implementation on that particular asset in an automated manner. This is why we're looking at the policy compliance features of Qualys because it actually aids and helps in the control implementation checking or which we call validation. So let's click on the Explore the Controls Library button and let's see what happens. Now, once you do that, you see a new screen title and you are able to create a new policy. And then there's a drop down menu. You can create a policy from scratch. You can create from the host. You can, you can import from XML file or you can import a policy from the library. And that's the option that we will select. Now, once we create, create a new policy and we click on uh, policy from library. Now there's two bars that you see, two vertical bars on the left. So we have CIS controls, Qualys controls, mandated controls, DISA stick controls, or vendor controls on the left side. And once you click on each, any of those items that you can see in the blue box on the left, then we will see the respective technologies in the, right, uh, in the box or the menu um, in the middle of the screen, which says technologies. So if you click on all, then we see all the technologies and the policies which are applicable or available, the templates uh, with the controls which are available, right now they are showing as 260, 260 policies or templates uh, with controls are available in Qualys. So let's go and click on the CIS uh, label so that we're looking at the CIS templates. And now, you will only see in the, middle, um, in the middle window, which says technologies, you will only see the templates, the control templates, which are available for CIS. And in the screen on the right, in the blue box, now you can see that there are three policies because we have clicked on CIS uh, label. Under technology, we have clicked on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.x. And now for that particular selection, there are only three options. And CIS benchmark for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, there are three options available, as you can see on the screen. So we will actually go ahead and click on scored level one and level two option, version 1.0. And once you click on that in the policies dashboard, you can see the policy selected. It appears on the top and the further details are available on the bottom of the screen. And this actually appears now because we have selected a particular policy under the policy compliance uh, items. Now let's take a look at some other options, how to create some policies which are not CIS policies. So if we click on the label under policy from library option, we click on the label for DISA STIG, we see that the technologies which are available for DISA STIG, the templates, the control templates that are available are showing in the middle window under technologies. And we're seeing that for DISA STIGs, there are 18, 18 different policies available. And if you click on the Qualys label, there's only one policy available once you select the SAP Adaptive Server Enterprise 16. And moving on, if you click on vendors, then there are about 10 or 12 different vendor uh, technology templates, and we have 17 different policies 
which are available under the vendor policy option. So Qualys has a vast number of options and templates for controls um, under compliance scans, and these should be fully explored through the Qualys trial. And I'd just like to repeat once again that the only reason that we're looking at this under the security hardening section of the course is because we will use Qualys um, in our projects, in our security transformation projects, to actually check and validate that the controls have, have been implemented correctly. So if we are implementing CIS, um, uh, a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 controls, we can actually select that library, go to the asset, and run the compliance scan, and it'll tell us how many controls have actually been implemented in an automated manner with the help of the Qualys tool. So that really helps because we don't have to do the validation or the checking in a manual manner, and the automated tool option is available for us. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.